where Rasulullah Sallam had been sent to them as a messenger and he had become homeless in Mecca and his wife Khadija Radana had passed away and his supportive uncle had passed away. And there were hardly any Muslims around him. There was a bounty on his head. So Rasulullah Sallam left Mecca looking for a home. He was destitute. Maybe in Taif there were Arabs there who would have some compassion to me. When I reached over there, they were very harsh to me. These men said the most horrible of words to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rasulullah Sallam was alone and vulnerable and he left. He said, I left with my head filled with worry. And I said to myself, why would they do that to me? Suddenly Jibreel Alayhi Salam came to me and he said to me, Ya Rasulullah, Allah has heard what they said to you and did to you. And with me is the angel of the mountains. He seeks permission to speak to you. Just let him speak. The angel of the mountains says, Ya Rasulullah, command me whatever you want me to do to them. If you want, I can grab those mountains behind you and crush them. Just order me. He says, oh no, don't do that. For I hope that if not them, the next generation out of their loins and lineage in the future will come out who will worship Allah alone.